cultures and human priorities change all the time especially if you look at one or two generations there will be significant changes um, so if you look up our own situation of the last hundred years so many issues that were of great concern to our forefathers are not so much of concern now and vice versa take the issue of love is so much referred to now as compared to 50 years ago 100 years ago which was hardly barely mentioned also in Islam and in the Quran is hardly mentioned it the issue is that of connectedness. Connect, 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 connect. Whatever we attempt or like or do, whatever drives we have is to do with the connection, continuation, and being conscious of that connection or continuation. Three C's. So each one of us is subject to that. And if life was simpler than what it is now, and there was this clear notion of God in charge, the all-powerful, the all-giver, if that notion was a common one at all the time in people's minds and hearts, then you won't be so much concerned about connect, connect, connect. Love is a super connection. Love is a primary state before individuation and separation. So we express love in the hope that we'll be together more. Our relationship, our connection, or our union is going to be stronger. But if you know that the whole thing emerged from that cosmic oneness, sustained by that oneness, then you won't be all the time talking about love, 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 love. It's because we are suffering, so we're all the time saying this as though it's going to be the panacea. Everything will be solved. And I love you, I love you, but tomorrow comes, I hate you, I hate you. Because we have moved further away from that unitive power that connects the seen and the unseen, and connect the known and the unknown. And all living entities, wherever, however, whoever they are, but it became so personalized because of the rise of the ego. Me, 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 so I love. But do you love me? I want you to love me more than I love you because then I have more power than you. All that rubbish. This is how we are, why we are suffering. It is an expression of, of, of declaring inadequacy, discontentment. If you are quite happy, content with the moment, which is eternal, which is timeless. So what are you looking for? You're already content. But no, because I'm inadequate, because I'm short of A, B, C, D, so I say, do you still love me? Would you love me even if I die? Would you love me? Would you love me if I turn away from you also? All this rubbish. We, we were animals for billions of years. Now suddenly we've now, after having touched the zone of infinitude and awakening to the ultimate, we've come back again and we're sinking into, if you like, the lower echelons of dualities which are destructive. Love is a very concentrated state of connectedness where the identities are lost. Is the Bose-Einstein constant, where the atoms cool down to a certain point that they lose their identity. The molecule is no longer a molecule of water or a molecule of whatever. It just loses its characteristic. It becomes the same as any other molecule. <clears throat> That's love. So you're no longer a separate entity. There's only one. So this is how it goes. So love is not mentioned in the past because they knew the origin, the destiny, and the highest level of illumination is based on this faculty which we call love.